Hi, hello and welcome to my caravan. Today I'm going to show you and tell you a little bit about housekeeping in a caravan when you live full time in a trailer. Yeah, it does get messy very quickly, so I'm going to show you today what I used to vacuum clean here to hoover the floor, hoover the sofas and any furniture really. Yes, I do hoover furniture because we have a dog in a caravan. So stay with me if you are interested and curious about housekeeping in a caravan. If you are thinking about living in a caravan full time, that might be your routine soon. Yeah, so uh, for those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Kat. I live in a caravan full time with my husband and my dog. I work on a caravan in sight and I travel when I don't work. So this is my life. Okay, let's dip in because it got really messy here and our caravan really needs some TLC. Leaves me a thumbs up and let's dive in. I will show you two vacuum cleaners which I use normally to clean and we will check which one does better. So of course what we vacuum the most is Diesel's hair which is left everywhere especially when we have a change of season and the Lord is shedding. There is also a lot of dust, a bit of grass, a bit of sand. And the last thing before I start cleaning, this is not a sponsored video. This vacuum cleaner was gifted to me by my employer who was upgrading equipment in the office and was getting rid of this one, basically. Uh, she bought something more powerful. So thank you very much. Uh, so it's not a paid promotion or a paid call up. It will be a fair and honest assessment and you will see you will see what are the results of vacuum cleaning with this little baby so we will be mainly dealing with the floor today but i like to shake the blankets and give sofas a good vacuum as well so that's what we are going to do today as well i hope you will help let me know in the comments if you are happy to join in <laughs> Do you like housekeeping? Do you do it a lot? What's your strategy? Do you do everything once a week or do you do a little bit every day? What works for you? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, it is picking up. It's very good for everyday cleans, but if you pay attention, look, I switched it off so you can actually hear me. I have many little corners and this one doesn't reach everywhere. Like here, yeah, you could think, oh yeah, that's clean, but actually underneath, between furniture, there is a gap between furniture and carpet and here we've got this runner to protect the carpet and this area where it meets where the runner meets the carpet look <laughs> in here where there is a change of level this vacuum cleaner doesn't doesn't pick up so well it does pick up a lot but not everything let's check whether it will pick up, pick it up now uh, when there's no no difference in level so this little vacuum cleaner is generally okay for a quick hoover when you have a dog but what is annoying about it that when you finish and you lift it up it <laughs> look it spits bits of dirt which were in the pipe and I find that with most of cordless vacuum cleaners it happens it happens with most of them so different people have different strategies I have a friend who before she turns her cordless vacuum cleaner off she lifts it so everything everything falls where it should and not back on the carpet okay let's try that You know what happened? I could feel, I could feel bits of sand on, on my feet. It just went everywhere. 
Anyway, time. Time to check how much dirt we picked up because as you remember, the dirt container was empty at the beginning of this film. And I only cleaned, only cleaned this little area here in the lounge, kitchen and bedroom. So literally only this bit. I didn't do the sofas because this attachment is not great for sofas. Okay, I usually empty it outside. <laughs> Look, wow. Oh my goodness, this is one clean. This is one clean. Can you see how much dog hair and dust? <gasps> this is one vacuuming, which I could do probably every other day. <laughs> Thank you, Diesel. So, respect for all dog owners. Okay, a bit of dust, but mostly dog hair, as you could see. So you may think, oh, this vacuum cleaner did pretty well. Yes, it did. But for deeper cleaning, when I have a bit more time, I use something bigger and something a bit more powerful with different attachments to get into this, these corners I mentioned, into things uh, and areas where I can't reach with this vacuum cleaner. Uh, and uh, I use something which is great for sofas, corners and even our radiator which is dreadful, absolutely dreadful. Have a look. Our radiator or inside of our radiator, look, this is dust and dog hair and uh, it wasn't cleaned last year, no, 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 it was cleaned last week so this is a week's dirt. I will flash a bit of light so you can see see it better. I don't know if my camera is picking it up, but there is probably another handful of dog hair in this radiator. So that's my other faithful and trusted friend when it's when it comes to housekeeping in the caravan. As you can see, this is a normal vacuum cleaner with a cable. It's quite big, quite heavy, quite chunky. There is no way it could fit under the bed where the little one lives. So this is something that which I borrow, that I borrow from work maybe once a week to give the place a bit better uh, for vacuum cleaning. We've had this vacuum cleaner for four years. It's been used in my work for four years. It's Philips Power Pro Expert and the power of this vacuum cleaner is 650 watts the little one was 160 this one is 650 so much much more powerful it has attachments which are lovely for the sofas for corners and little tight spaces it doesn't have a bag which is lovely because it's a huge saving and for the purposes of this video I emptied the dirt container so it's empty again and we will see what we pick up with this more powerful vacuum cleaner. Just to make our test valid I will show you that it is empty this container here look it's empty. <laughs> So this one takes a lot of space, as you can see. The cable is trailing behind me, so it's not ideal. It's quite a big thing. So I usually start with just getting rid of, uh, getting rid of the worst with this big brush. And then I detach it and I use this little br brush here. And this is super, super clever because look, you take out the pipe and the brush stays here and you do this Woohoo! no loose attachments it is on your pipe which is brilliant so now i will vacuum with this with this little attachment or not even attachment it's an ending i will vacuum so fast uh, all the nasty corners i even vacuum those power uh, plugs uh, and we will see what what tackles the radiator 
So this is too wide for my radiator, unfortunately. There are other attachments here. So we could try, we could try this one, but I'm not sure. Whether, oh yeah, oh yeah, that should do the job. Let's try. I spent about 20 minutes vacuum cleaning here, this tiny area with two vacuum cleaners get into every single corner every single bit and we will check how much dirt we picked up with this one right all work is done and the final summary will take place here in the garden so i actually fetched what i dumped earlier so this is what we picked up with the little cordless vacuum cleaner let's see what we have in this big container this is the second vacuuming There you are. Much more dust, much more sand. The little one, first cleaning. The big one, second cleaning. Can you believe it? And I do promise you, we vacuum clean probably every other day at least. Sometimes every day, it depends on the weather. And it's only a small five berth caravan, only two people and a dog. And that's what we were living with for at least two days. So if you are thinking about living in a caravan full time, that's your reality. Yeah, it gets quickly, it gets dirty very quickly. You can tidy up quickly, but it gets dusty. And especially if you have a dog, you just have to make peace with it, get a good vacuum cleaner and get on with it. But don't be uh, shocked, don't be put off. Don't think that this is impossible life because I'm actually allergic to home dust. And I've been living in a caravan for a few years now and I'm okay, maybe I've been cured. Who knows, maybe that amount, that volume of dust and dog hair has made me immune. Okay, so a quick summary of equipment. A little cordless John Lewis 160 watts vacuum cleaner, yeah. Recommended for quick everyday cleaning. What is a big benefit of this one is that the battery lasts very long. I literally charge it once a month. It doesn't have any fancy attachment, only one brush. And really, even after detaching the brush, you can't do much with the pipe itself. This one is bigger, Philips Power Pro. It has plenty of attachments, especially the, the brush, which stays on the pipe. That's very practical. But both of them are bagless, so you don't have to spend money on vacuum cleaner bags. This one is 650 watts, much bigger. The Philips is much bigger, but if you have space, if you have space in a caravan, I really recommend the bigger one. If you, if you have storage space which obviously is very limited in a caravan. Anyway, the little one is okay for everyday cleaning. Uh, battery lasts very long. And also you don't have to spend money on bags. Yeah, and as, as I said, battery lasts about 40 minutes, which for me, cleaning every day for maybe five, 10 minutes, uh, I, I rarely, rarely charge the cordless vacuum cleaner. So really, I would say both of them are okay. Uh, both of them have advantages and disadvantages. The biggest disadvantage of the big one is the size and weight and the general uh, chunkiness. But it's a really good vacuum cleaner. And as, as I said earlier, we've been using both for a few years. The big one is four years old. It's been used a lot and it's still strong. There is no need to upgrade it or to replace it. It's a really good piece of kit. If you would like to purchase any of them, uh, and you would like to support the channel, please use our Amazon links, which you will find in the description. So that's it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed this little test and a little, little bit of truth of the dirt in the caravan. How dirty does the caravan get? Well, it gets very, very dirty. And just the last look at the dirt we picked up and collected today from my lovely, lovely caravan. Oh, it's getting windy. Look what we've done. This is satisfying, isn't it? When you think you, you had it inside, in your home, you were sitting with it and eating with it and drinking of it. Yeah, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you for your help. 
time to relax now take this out for a lovely walk the sun is shining the weather is absolutely glorious so i'm going to enjoy the sight enjoy the quiet time before the site gets very busy again so thank you very much thank you for watching thank you for tuning in please leave a comment like and subscribe of course if you haven't done it yet and see you in the next video bye